animal lovers, it's perhaps not surprising that many pet owners leave no stone unturned when it comes to making sure their pet's in tip-top shape. The days of relying simply on healthy diets and long walks are over. Today's pets are just as likely to be found on the therapist's couch, apparently, as the vet's examining table. I'm going to meet the man now who specialises in animal reiki, uh, Rob Fellows. Hi, Alan. Uh, animal, people will be surprised again at this. They think, surely reiki is just for humans, but you... You found its works on your dog? Yeah, absolutely. That, that was my um, my trigger was to work on a previous springer of mine named yeah. Joe. He had arthritis, and although he had been diagnosed and he was having you know, some some uh, medication for it, um, I wanted to be able to help him myself, and that was my trigger to get involved with Reiki. But what do you say to this? Because Reiki, explain to us what Reiki is. Well, Reiki is a, a natural hands-on healing therapy. Mm. It's an uh, an energy-based therapy. So, uh, literally, I place my hands um, on Monty in various parts of his, of his body and to assist him to self-heal. But you, it says that you can go, I've seen adverts, come and take lessons in Reiki and after a day we can make you a qualified practitioner. Yeah. And that seems to me to be a bit of an extravagant clinic. Uh, no, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a different form of training to some of the other traditional forms of training. What you need to be able to do is to have that, um, the... Um, inbuilt ability that everybody has. So it's has. a gift, it's an aptitude. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's, it's um, there are people who say that they're gifted and yeah. uh, only certain people can do that. I, I don't believe that at all. Anybody has the ability to give Reiki once they've been what's called attuned yeah. by somebody who's a Reiki master. Wonderful, amazing story, isn't it? Um, let's go to what you might call a more, perhaps a more conventional approach, animal behaviourist. Debbie Conley. Now, Debbie, you've got here Jan and her cat, Kira. So what's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Kira at all. Okay. Animal behaviour. Well, the point is they should look like there's nothing wrong with them when I'm finished. Ah, what was the problem then, Jan? Well, I got Kira a um, little over three months ago and found she's quite nervous in the house, um, especially when people come round. I just wanted to get some advice of Debbie and, and help her settle in more into the home. So how do you do that? A lot of people have that common problem. So in do? general, one of the best things with animals is to interest them with food, as with people, of course. Mm. We all have our triggers. <laughs> so I think we call it bribery. Well, I don't know. <laughs> 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 chocolate, with animals. Um, for cats and dogs who are a little nervous, doing something that distracts them and makes the whole experience pleasurable is the starting point. So you give the cat treats, you get her interest, and while you're doing that, comforting strokes, contact, and get people to move around and approach and throw treats at them. It seems to have worked with Kira, not, not least because I mean, there's a couple of dogs down there and Kira's still sitting there, just, all right, you're holding onto a collar, I can see, yeah. but she is nevertheless lying She's, down. Yes. Do you, we're talking about, the, the, you know, they each work with one another over there, do you see things that you don't agree with? I mean, presumably you quite all have a lot, quite usually. a lot, but you don't, the, so there are the, individual... The idea of complementary treatments yeah. in, in my more traditional world, I, I think as long as things are harmless, I don't have an issue with it. I do refer people sometimes for Reiki, sometimes for tea touch and various other things. And I don't think, I, I think there should be room in the world for lots of other things. But yes, traditional behaviour is my world. For, for all sorts of animals. I mean, I deal with cats, dogs, goats, pigs, geese, all sorts of animals yeah. I've treated. And on the rescue side, Bravo Working Dog Rescue is where all my talents are going these days because we're helping uh, retiring and failed working dogs, police, MOD, to find a good, safe retirement home, which sadly isn't happening as often as it should. But hopefully in terms of what I'm like, with our baking sock there, you know, proof, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I Absolutely. suppose the, the proof of what the animals are is, is in their happiness. And this lot seem perfectly happy, whatever their treatment. My thanks to Debbie Conley, Tony Levin, Henry Cumming, Rob Fellows and his dog Monty, Owen and Millie the dog, Kira the cat, and Jan. Thank you. <laughs>